Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life RP. Now today I have something really fun planned. You see, the last few episodes we've been making some serious cash. I mean, I made four million dollars from being a hitman in the last episode and before that I made 20 million dollars from my shop. But that isn't even the star of the show because do you remember those money printer modules I got from the Viper heist? Well, let me show you something. Wait a minute. These aren't money printers, these are servers from Pine Holstein who have kindly sponsored this video. Pine is the number one place to get your very own unturned server. With locations all around the world, powerful tools such as error detecting AI and a super sleek panel that allows you to install mods, maps and plugins with the click of a button, head over to pinehosting.com to start your server adventure for as little as 850. And of course, don't forget to use the code Nilex for 30% off. Okay, I've got to place all these back now, haven't I? As I was saying, I got these 1,000 note modules from the Viper Heist, and let me tell you, I can make over 100k every single hour with these bad boys. And I think it's about time I treated myself, you know? It's been a while since we've done a spending spree, and I have some serious money to spend. But before we do that, we have a little bit of a mission. You see, it seems Prodef has been helping out the Vipers, and after speaking to Alistair, he thinks the best way to ensure the Vipers don't retaliate is to find out exactly what they're up to. Now, the Mafia Scouts have spotted someone living in Montre who they suspect is a secret viper. So it looks like we've got some spying to do. So I'm going to leave these printers here to do one last final print so that when we get back, we have even more money to spend. All right, let's get going. Okay, we have arrived at the Mafia Mansion and it is looking pretty packed today. I can't lie. Hello, boys. How's it going? Whoa, what are you guys cooking up? Dinner. Artemis? Are you oh, here? Man, looks. Oh, I watched right past you. How's it going, man? Mario, so I see you seeing what the boys are cooking up. Yeah, it looks pretty tasty. You guys are living the good life now, huh? Just a little bit. Well, uh, I'm here just to get a bit more info on that, that Viper you wanted me to track down. Yes, so some of our Mafia scouts we had scouting around Monterey, they might have spotted someone who apparently is a secret uh, Viper living on top of the Comp Clothing apartment. pro Death and Vipers have some sort of deal going down, and Alistair was wondering if you'd find out what is really involved with it. Okay, so you just need me to confirm that he is indeed a Viper and then figure out what deal Brodef and the Vipers actually have. Yeah, that'd be great. Cool. All right. Yeah, enjoy enjoy your meal, boys. Be safe. You too, man. Bye-bye. Okay, first stop, it looks like we're going to Montre. Now, I feel like I might need a hand with this mission, so I might have to recruit Justin as well. So I picked up Justin because I figured I'd need some help with this mission and uh, I think Justin might be struggling to put fuel in my car. Have you tried unlocking the fuel cap? Oh, it's because it's locked. Where is Silly oh, Billy? Try now. Silly, silly, man. There, there you go. go. Right. right then, let's do this. The Mafia told me he lived directly above the common clothing store, but like at the back. So I think I know where they're talking about. Well, let's find the building first and then we'll figure out how we will look inside and see. Well, the see. common clothing store is this one here and these are all the apartments. Hmm. So if we maybe just park up, maybe just in here, we can just see from here. I see a guy. <laughs> Uh -huh. up on that floor. They said at the back. Uh, Can I? Oh, I see some. Oh, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> take what? a look. Take What's a look up? at this. Hmm? I'm looking at somebody making some very uh, questionable substances right now. You see that? Oh. Oh, I do. <laughs> Got a decent setup in there. Yeah, dude. He's literally just uh. cooking it up, man. He's cooking it up. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. He's on the phone now. Maybe it's his uh, client. Who knows? Oh. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, oh. oh, he's getting That's, armor on. Uh, he's, got, he's, he's got a mission. Hold on a, minute. <gasps> oh. Hold on a second. Hold on. A, black pants, white shirt, balaclava. balaclava. Ah. This guy's a viper, all right. This guy is indeed a viper. Oh, I think he's leaving. Okay, hold on. Let me just see. Oh, he's gone. We look super, super sus right now. If he comes this way, dude, we're just going to have to, like, bucket down this alleyway, okay? And we'll just... Oh, he's a... Uh, I think he, he's going down to the docks by the looks of it. <gasps> oh, uh, oh, hello. Are those Same. vipers? One, They've two, got to be, right? Three. Oh, yeah. yeah, they definitely are. <gasps> Dude, there's, there's Prodef as well. There's both vipers and Prodef. There's a lot of them, too. Oh, more, okay. I think it's more Prodef than, than Dude, vipers. Is that goose right there? I can't tell. I don't know. They all look the same. Oh, man. The urge to take him out is too strong right now. If they go back on those boats and go out to sea, then there's no way we can follow them, so. Oh. Oh. oh, dude, there's trucks down here. Quite a lot, too. It's okay, just a bunch we... of free loot right underneath our noses. I, yeah, pretty much. Do you want to try follow these guys, Justin? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's okay, go. okay, okay. 
Let's go. Get it. All right. Uh, let's just let's just play cool. Let's just chill. Wait for them to cross. Because if they recognize us, we're pretty done for. There they go. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going to hang back quite a bit because, yeah, I just don't want to be spotted. What is in those trucks? That's what I want to know. So let's have a gander. They're going to Calabasas. It looks like it. It looks like it. Oh, maybe they're not going to Cala. Hold on, because they're... Oh, they may be just passing through. I really don't know what these guys are doing. Have they? Oh, have they stopped? Have they? Oh, they have. Oh. Should what we is just... the shop here? Should we go past them? Well, that's the yeah, pub. Go I know the Vipers frequent that pub. Oh, dude, they're in that gun store. Okay, let me spin the car around. I've got an idea. We'll park in the gas station. We'll just pretend we're getting gas. How about that? Sure. If they were paying attention, they might have just noticed you now pull up again. True, but... Oh, well, risk we're willing to take. This is a horrible way to get gas. <laughs> okay. Maybe you really me. are. This Jeez. Yo, are we still going with the agreed price or not? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, they're talking, they? they're talking. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Are they selling weapons to this guy? Well, I mean, where else do weapon gun weapon stores get their uh, very good products from? Oh well, yeah, but like the Vipers and Prodec do not need the money. Seems good. Maybe there's more to it. Whatever's going on right now, the shop owner's definitely involved. I might have to contact Artemis and see what he wants to do from here. Yo, Artemis, uh, we've got a new discovery. It seems the Vipers and Prodef are in talks with a shop owner in Calabasas. They seem to be dropping off some weapons. Do you want us to continue following Prodef, or would you like us to investigate the shop? Well, um, investigate the shop owner. Just see what you can find out from him. Right, okay, Roger, that will do. We have been instructed to find out what the shop owner knows. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know that shop, and that isn't a Viper member that owns that. I'm almost certain. Oh, they're getting back in the trucks. They're le oh, they're leaving, dude. Um, yeah, I'm totally just getting gas right now. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. Hundred percent. Yep. I'm just making sure you do it right. Okay. They have left. Okay. We have the store owner. I think at the top floor of a guy down there, which I assume is his like friend or something. I have no idea. I wonder what weapons they actually. Oh. Um, I. Oh, hello. I think he just spotted us. <laughs> uh, oh, he's just in, he's making a run for it. We need to go. We need to go right now. There he goes. There he goes. Let's get on right. it. We might have to start shooting, you know. Maybe not in the city. <laughs> right next to the police station. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's literally overtaking everyone. We both just oh. crashed at the same time. I don't believe it. Nice job. Okay, just dude, screw it. Somewhere. You're gonna have to start shooting. He's getting away. He's getting away. There's cars in the way. He's right there, dead ahead, dead ahead. We got this, bro. We got this. We got this. One sec. They're shooting back. Oh. They're shooting back. <laughs> Out of my watch. If you can get a tire, that'd be great. We're right now on this corner. You got this, bro. Oh, you got us. Oh, he crashed. The road. He crashed. That works. Oh, I got him. Put your hands in the air, bro. Put your hands in the air. Hands up. Hands, hands up. up. Hands up. There you go. There you go. Well, uh. well, well. Doing a little business, are you? Okay, Justin, do you still have that garage in industrial? Because that does not sound good. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Let's get him in the car. Come with us, Buckle. Quick, 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 quick. If the cops see this. <sighs> oh, they're right here. Close it, close it. It's okay, it's okay. They're going past. Well, buddy, welcome to your new home for a little bit. Oh, I don't know anything, bro. Honestly, Nothing? man. Nothing? I'm you just know, trying to make some money. I tell you what, should we uh, should we set up a nice little seat for this guy, Justin? What, what do you think? Oh, I'm sure we can build something. Look at that. Take a seat, my friend. Take a seat. So back there, it looked like, uh, yeah, you had quite a lot of friends at your shop. They're not my friends. They're not your friends? I don't know them. I no? Do. You don't know no, the Vipers? Bro. You don't know Prodef? Who? Vipers? I don't know anything about the Vipers. I only know about Prodef. I swear. Okay, okay. And, and what, what business do you have with Prodef? They were paying me, but I'm not telling you why. You know, Brother, brother, look at the situation you you're crying? in. Look at the situation you're in, my friend. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, they pay me to store their weapons, okay? That, that's all I know. That's all I know. They pay you to store their weapons? Promise me you'll let me go after this. Dude, if you tell I'm us sure what we I need to know, you, you can walk free. We're not interested okay. in you. You know you know the lumber area, right? I do, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they, they're they going to do a deal 
they're gonna get shipment very soon. Oh, is that it's so? It's not for me. I, I'm, I'm not gonna store anything. Okay. Please don't come for me. You know what, brother? I believe you. I believe you. No, I understand, man. I understand. Like I said, we're not interested in you. There's only one problem, though. If we let you go now, who's to say you're not just gonna go snitch on Prodef and get them to move everything out of lumber before we get there? It's a risk you are willing to take, I guess. You know, I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. Now, Justin, we can't kill him. I, I actually feel sorry for him. Um, no, 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 no. Please, please. I mean, it isn't listen, directly listen, his listen, fault, listen, you know. It's so. not his fault. I, I really don't no. want to kill him. But what but we I can mean, do, we can, I've got a better mm -hmm. idea. Which, you just stay there, my friend. Mm, damn, okay. Damn. All right. Here's what we're going to do. All right. Listen here. Look, we're, we're not bad people, believe it or not. <laughs> Did oh. you... <laughs> However, <laughs> maybe we can't let you go with the risk of you snitching. So instead, we're going to keep you here until our mission is done. Now, we will come back for you. This is our garage. So don't worry. We'll come back. We'll let you out. Here's some juicy hey, burgers. Can you maybe give me some crisps. You want I'm, to... I'm like toast and tolerant. Mate, look at... Oh, no, 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 By the way, we will be back soon. Just don't uh, ignore all the dust and everything. I swear, we'll be back soon. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, problem solved. There we go. Okay, huh. so Prodef are doing a quite a big shipment at Lumber, it seems. We should probably head there pronto. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should stop off, get prepared, lock and load, mm. if you will, and then uh, head to Lumber, yeah? Yep. I think this is it, you know? Oh, now, we wow. have had strict instructions from Artemis to destroy this weapons cache, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, let's just try Those and stay stealthy here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Are they all pro def? Seven. Dude, they're all pro def. Eight. So they've got a big warehouse in the lumber area. Yeah, this is going to be a bit tricky. Now, Justin, in the last episode, mm -hmm. I did the dirty work. I went down there. I think it might be your turn mm -hmm. this time, you know? Listen, you owe me this. You're happy that you get to sit up here and watch me be cooler than you. Okay. Just from what I can see, we've got one guy down by a forklift over there, and we have two people outside. It seems like the people in the warehouse might just be staying in there. If you want to make your way in from this side, mm -hmm. I can take out this guy when he gets out of sight. I just do not get caught, and please make sure you've got your silencer on, just in case. Let me know when you've hopped in. Amen. Right, I'll take him out. Right. I think... Oh, oh, there's more people. Hold on. Yeah, that's quite a few. Hold on. Hold on. Just stay hidden if you can. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, I think I'm good. I'm going to take him out. All right, he's down. Oh, you've got him. Okay. I'm by the gas tank now up against the warehouse. I'm just going to move position slightly. Hold on. One's drinking or, or eating. I don't know. He's stuffing his face with uh, delectable treats. Okay. And the other one's got a boonie hat on and he's just, well, he looks disappointed. So if we're going to get past these guys to this weapons cache, we might have to take them out together, you know. Uh, I've got a clearer shot of the person towards me on the left side, so you're gonna have to take it the right side. Right. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Okay. That was nice. Uh right. oh, I see flash. Uh. We okay? Oh, we're. I think we might okay. have to go loud. He's radioing Clay for backup. You I think we're going loud, loud brother. Okay. Yep. Hold on. There we go. They've spotted me. Uh, I've gone loud. I'm taking him out. Don't worry. I got you covered as much as I can. Yeah, they know I'm on this rock. One moment. Oh, man. Nice. How's it looking? Are they... Is there more? Don't know. Hold on. I'm moving, moving in while there's a chance. I'm moving in while there's a chance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you... Uh... Where are you? Hello. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Are we clear? No. We're not, not clear. Definitely not. Check okay. your left once you're up against the wall here. Got Jacob's moving company. Oh. 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 I got one down. Ah. Are you good? Are you good? No, I'm not good. Oh, oh dude, I'm oh. so low. Really? I think... Yeah, he's got an LMG. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pinned down. I can't peek him. Or I'll just get absolutely domed. Dude, how many bullets has this guy got? Could be 250 round. Oh, he's reloading. Is he? Is that more? Is he down? Dude. Hello. This definitely is a weapons cache. Piles upon piles, dude. What are they trying on doing with all this stuff? They've got containers in here and everything. Well, what's this? What is it? Check this out. Check this one out. Oh, wow. MG. Special. I wonder if uh, <laughs> wonder if he got it from that box. 
Jacob's Moving Company, which has a bunch of boxes. Uh, this. Oh, the dude. Rest of the Hmm. They've just mm -hmm. got. Whoa, hold on a second. They have got so much armor in the back of this truck, dude. Got a note. I wonder if they're not stockpiling. What's the note? Operation Wildfire. Armor shipment C. Uh, Make sure this one gets to facility Delta quickly. Goose has been giving us an earful about it. And if it's late, it'll be one of us on the chopping block. What is Operation Wildfire? What What are these guys planning, dude? Whatever it is, we're not mixed up in it. I think there's only one thing left to do here. I don't think Alistair or, or Artemis are interested in getting any of this stuff back to the Mafia, because uh, it's just too much. Whatever you can carry, take it. The rest we're going to have to destroy, unfortunately. And we need to do it fast as well, because I don't know how many more Vipers or pro Def forces are out there. Remember, they have a pretty big blast radius, so you can space them out quite nicely. I'm sorry, Armour, but here we go. Uh, should we go up to the hills? Okay. All right, well... Are you ready, my friends? Yeah, why not? Michael Bay time. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. Right. Let's get out of here. That was probably heard by everyone. So yeah, let's let's get out of here. Okay, I have returned back home. I've just dropped Justin back off, and that was a super successful mission. Now, we didn't get much info, but we did get a name of the operation that Prodef are planning, so we're going to need to investigate that a bit further. But now it is finally time to spend a ton of money. This is what I have been waiting for all day, and I'm so glad I can finally do it. Now, let's get down to these printers. Okay, and that is the last of it. I believe I've just got over $100,000 here, and that's just from leaving my printers on while I go do a mission. I told you these things were profitable. Now, of course, that is paired with the millions I've already printed and the millions I've gotten from the previous missions. I don't know how much exactly we're going to spend today, but I need to go put a lot of this money in my bank and then we're going to get cracking. Okay, I think the smart thing to do is to just take out a couple million at a time and then to obviously keep coming back and replenishing my money whenever it gets low. I think that's probably the smartest thing to do, you know, just out of fear of being killed. But yeah, it is time to spend some money, so let's do this. Okay, so we we are here at the airport because Life RP has got a bit of an update to include massive hangars at the airport. And as much as I love my old hangar, I kind of want an upgrade. Now, the problem is everybody has bought them up. Whoa, that is really cool. Okay. As I was saying, the problem is everyone has bought up every single hangar, which means there's none available left to buy. However, I managed to strike up a deal with this guy right here, and hopefully he's going to sell me this hangar today. Hey, man, how's it going? Hello there. Are we, uh, going we still on for the deal? You wanted to buy the hangar? I did, yes, I did. Yes, sir. What was your price, my friends? Uh, one million. One million dollars for this thing, <laughs> okay. Oh, she's a nice hangar. She is a nice hanger. I mean, this is... space. I think one no million is, is a pretty good deal, yeah. Just for comparison, to buy this brand new, you're looking at 350k, but people are reselling them for like a million, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... There's my deed. Thank you very much. Thank you so yeah, much, my man. Side door. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Let me slap this on while we're here. And of course, the deed for the hangar. So it is officially mine. This is such an upgrade. Thank you very much, there my man. Well, Thank you. Sir. A pleasure doing pleasure business. Pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy. Okay, so this is my new hangar and this is absolutely huge. Look at this. You know what? I would pay a million dollars just at base value. I don't even care. This is amazing. I have so many ideas on how I'm going to decorate this, but you know what? I think first things first, I need to get a special little something for this hangar. So I think I know what I got to do. Now, obviously I'm going to splash and I'm going to go all out. And I was thinking I'm going to go for a private jet, but after seeing this plane take off when I was arriving just then, I think I have to do it, you know? Let's do it. And there it is. Would you look at that? Look at this thing. The wings literally fold up. This is insane. Okay. Look at this thing. Um, okay, I'm going to have to turn this around. Hold on. How many seats has it got? Eight seats. That's really good. All right, let's do a test flight. Here we go. Let's do it. Ooh. There we go. Look at the jets on the back as well. I wonder what its top speed is. I'm already going 244 kilometers an hour. Oh my goodness, okay. Look at this thing. And then when you get out, the wings just fold up. This is so cool. I love it. Okay, I think now I'm going to have to go through the painstaking job of moving everything from my old hangar into the new one. 
All right, this is the last of it. And as you can see, I have moved literally everything from the old hangar into the new one. And I've also built something kind of special as well. Now, of course, this is not going to stay like this. I'm going to continue to add to this hangar and build it up into something really epic. But for now, I just want to get everything in here. And you know what? There was surprisingly a lot of stuff in that old hangar. Now, what I've done here is I've basically made a second floor to this hangar because it's so big, you, you can just do that. So as you can see, we come up here and this is like a whole second floor. Now, I don't exactly know what I'm going to use this space for because, you know, there's windows. I don't want to do anything kind of sketchy in here because people will definitely be able to see. But if you guys do have any ideas on what I could do with this hangar and what I could turn it into, please do leave them in the comments and we'll be sure to do that. But yeah, I think I'm happy just leaving it like this for now because I have a lot more money to spend. So let's go. So I've just taken the subway to uh, the city because I want to buy a new car, you know? My garage is looking a little lonely ever since I lost the submarine car. It's just got an empty space in it and I need to fill that empty space today. You see, I have supercars. I have sports cars. I think I need something with a bit more class and a bit more style and something that's quite unique. I'm looking at this one. This is like a, like a mafia boss car. I expect Alistair to be going around in this car. Is that... Is that somebody dabbing on the front of my car? Have I just, have I just spent 300k on, on, on the dab mobile? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this home. 100%. This is so nice. Okay, I kind of couldn't help myself. I bought another car as well. See, there we go. This is looking so much nicer in here. Like I said, it was feeling a bit empty ever since I lost the submarine car, and I think this kind of makes up for it. Now, of course, none of these cars can actually swim, but at least they're really, really, really cool. Now, next up, it would not be a spending spree without buying a ton of weaponry. But of course, I can't just settle for plain old off-the-shelf weapons. No, no, no. You see, I have a collection of very, very rare, unobtainable OP weapons. I've got the golden guns over here. I've got the minigun over here. I've got a pro def armor set. Now, luckily, there is a guy in Montre who is hosting an auction tonight. So for once, it's not going to be me hosting an auction. I'm actually going to be the one bidding. And apparently, this guy has a bunch of cool unob weapons, armor, you name it. So I'm taking my money there and we're going to bid on some cool things. Okay, this is a lot of vehicles. There's so many cars here. I thought I'd bring my uh, my new car just to, just to flex a little bit, you know? But this is the uh, oh the shop in question. So cool. Look how many people are here. Uh, all right, guys. Are we all ready out there? We're ready. Let's go. Look at how many people are in this auction. This is insane. Oh, dude, this, this shop is amazing. Look at the spiral staircase. Is everyone ready then? Let's, uh, let's just get the uh, auction oh. rolling now. This is going to be good. I'm interested to see how this goes. First on show, we have um, four of these high-powered snipers. It has the ability to one-tap in the head, and it can stop any vehicle you want. Hey, can you please get off the stage? Anyways, we have four of these um, for sale, and the bid starts at 100,000. <laughs> okay. 110 from Robin. 110? See, I'm going to play smart. I'm going to wait until nobody is bidding, and then I'm going to snipe them. Right, the, la yeah. the last thing I heard was uh, four, uh, 400,000? 410,000. 410,000 to Nihilix. 450. Oh, we got 450? Yeah. It's just like... 450 going once. Ah, 460, uh, fine. 460. 460 to Nihilix. 460 going once. 460 going twice. Oh, have I done it? Have I done it? Ooh. 460 sold to Nihilix. Yeah, and boy. I the money on you. Dude, I just got four snipers for 460. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. That is a... The backpack comes with it. <laughs> is that a free backpack? Whoa, is that a waffle? Is that a free waffle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is there so many? What is going on? This gun, the uh, AK platform AR, high power, good range. These for sale, starting at 100. And I hear 170 already. Oh, you know what? I might have to chill on these ones. I'm going to hang back and let these guys bid, I think. What was it? 320. 20. Officer Three lays with 320. 500k. Artemis. Half a million. 540 going once. 540 going twice. <laughs> Yeah. You know, Artemis has quite a collection of like unob stuff like this, you know. I've not actually seen it, but he's been at a lot of my auctions as well, and he's got some really cool stuff. This one is, uh, it's very valuable. It's very good for crowd control. Ooh. Crowd control. Oh, do I take it? This will cut through any opposition you face on any Do I take it? Especially after that mission today, that guy using an LMG on me. I kind of want to be on the other side of that. Wow. And four of them, four of 
them. You get four of them as well. 500. Uh, you're 500k already. Wow. Oh, yeah. 600k from crowns. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna sit back, let the chaos ensue, and then I'm gonna snipe in at the end. <laughs> it's climbing. It's climbing. 900 grand. It's gonna get to a mil. Oh no, do I do this? I, I, I hear we're winding down a bit. 1.4 going once. 1.4 going twice. 1.5. 1. 1. 1.5. There we go. There we go. Gotta do it. Had to do it to him. I'm sorry. We got. Oh no. Do I go to two mil? Is Nilex gonna bring the quirky turkey on you know to, to, <laughs> to the table? Yes, I am. 1.8. 1. 1.8 yeah, to Nilex. 1.85. No! 1. 1.9, 1.9, 1. fine, fine, fine. 1.9 going once. <sighs> Come on. Come on. 1.9 going twice. Come on. Really? Anybody else? Give me him. Give me him. No! No! <laughs> Is anyone gonna be higher? <laughs> yes, 2.1. Screw it, 2.1. 2.1. Going above again. Oh, 2.2 going above again. Oh, no. oh. 2.3. 2.4. 2.4. Oh, no. 2.5. That's gonna be my last one. I can't go higher than 2.5. 2.5 going once. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's cheap. Come on. 2.5 going twice and a half. Come on. Yes! Yes! One, two, three, four. Look at this. Hey man, enjoy them. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Shredder. I mean, that name alone is just cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. I feel like this isn't going to the millions again. Yeah, see, 700k. It is nice armor, but I also have a lot of nice armor myself at home. So, yeah, it's not worth it for me, I don't think. <laughs> 2.5 going twice. 2.5 sold. Two yeah. I couldn't do another 2.5. Is this a final item? Very final. Very oh, final. What are we looking at? What is it? What is it going to be? No, 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 no. It's something we all Oh. Police issue. Fully automatic Crystal? shotgun. Crystal? Fully automatic shotgun. Absolutely. 600? You have. Like you're 600k already. Screw it, I've got a bet on this. 700,000. No. 700 from Nilex. No, 800. Okay. Gonna take that quirky turkey? You know what? This is the last item. One million dollars. Oh, Yes, brother. Nilex, 1.3, 1.3, okay, fine, 1.3. 1.3 going twice to That is a great deal. Damn, this is cool. Can I do a little test fire somewhere? Like, it's fully auto, right? Of course. Okay, let me try this. Test, test it on you. I'm gonna press the- I'm gonna press the trigger in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> I did tell them. I did tell them. I did tell them. All right, man. Thanks for a great auction. That was brilliant. That was really good. Okay, I'm going to need to quickly get these back home nice and safe now. Okay, well, today was very, very successful, to say the least. I've just stocked up my armory with the new additions. And you know what? I didn't want to say it back then, but that was a steal for those items. I might actually try and resell them at the Quirky Turkey for even more. But yeah, like I said, we spent a lot of money today. But you know what? It was all worth it because we've got some pretty cool items out of it. But I think for now, I'm going to have to end the episode here. So I do want to thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like rating. And also get subscribed so you do not miss any future episodes. And I'll see you in the next one.